Hello, ma'am. Are you the wife of Count Orlock? For hundreds of years. I assume you're my daughter's self-appointed groom. Pleasure to meet you, John. Nina and I love each other. Indeed you do. The air in this room is rather stifling, wouldn't you say? The air conditioner needs to be repaired. We won't continue this conversation until it's done. I don't think so. Well done, John. Can you feel how chilly it is in the room now? Yes, the air is much more appropriate for the conversation at hand. Do not try to rush matters that are centuries in the making. Now, my accountant is ill. I won't be able to finish this sale without the appropriate computer program.
Excellent. You'll make a great son-in-law. I see you in tail standing next to my daughter in a black veil. The wedding march is playing. No kidding. I do not kid, John. I'm going to make you a manager at my firm. But let's drink a cup of coffee first, shall we? Oh, we just need the coffee machine and some coffee and sugar. To be perfectly honest, I don't like that Ipkus. He's a fool. So, how can I change the Count's mind? I have no authority over him. One of my husband's oldest dreams is to act in a film. He's crazy about Hollywood. Over a century ago, he even met the Lumiere brothers and bit one of them. I can't believe it! That brother changed his name, moved to Hollywood, and shot films. As for Orlok, he never got his big break. There's a film director named Lumiere at my hotel on Central Street. Maybe he could help us. Imagine, Count Orlock playing the main role. Excellent idea. All the tickets would be sold out. I think he'd go for it. But Orlock is so shy. He won't have the courage to attend the casting. I suggest kidnapping Nina and waiting for him to find you at the station. Um, Nina is kept in the dungeon behind a bewitched door that only Orlock can unlock. And me. I'll give you a magic amulet. Just keep it with you. It will dampen Orlok's senses. He won't even know what happened. Find the seven magic seals to unlock the door. Thanks, Mom. I'm going to kidnap Nina back. about dampening the senses. Count Orlok's passed out. Now I can easily steal my bride.
I should use the magic seal. John, I have cursed you a traitor and a coward. I thought you would never come. Say you'll forgive me, my love. Quick, let's get out of here. Mom is waiting for us at the TV studio. I'll explain everything later. I'm ready to start shooting as soon as we have actors. Let's set the stage while we wait for the auditions to arrive. There's a storeroom behind the door. Everything we need is there. We'll have to repair the lights and remove all the kitty props. This ladder is missing its rungs too. I can't get to the floodlights.
Be sure to remove all non-vampire props from the scenery. As the director, I'm going to need clapboards. The more, the better. Excellent, John. Now we need to determine who will play the role of Count Dracula. Traitors! How dare you! She belongs to me! Daughter, you deserve more than that frail and mortal fool. Anyone who tries to stand in my way will be impaled by my fangs! Bravo! Bravo! What emotion! What authenticity! Fantastic! That's exactly what I've been looking for in my new movie. Who invited the paparazzi? No, no, Count Orlock. I am the great director, Mr. Lumiere. I want you to star in my new thriller, Count Dracula's Treasures. My darling, I knew you were gifted. Daddy, you'd be simply irresistible as Dracula. Wonderfully played, Your Excellency. Hmm. And John, what do you think? Nobody has played a vampire so realistically since Nosferatu. Darling, it's your chance to make your dreams come true. I agree. Johnny, I thank you with all my heart. You've given me faith in myself again. So, I don't have to marry your daughter? Of course not. What can I say? Fate has uncrossed John and Nina's stars. Oh, honey. You're such a wise man. We don't even have to turn John. He's perfect as is. Can I uh, turn into a bat now? Don't bother. Our special effects guys will take care of everything. Lights, camera, action! Cut! Ipkiss, what is in that soda bottle? Soda. What a strange vampire. My treasure! Cut, cut, cut! The line is, my treasures! 
A damn scoundrel filched my treasures. I'll drain your blood. Your soul will wander the castle's corridors for eternity. Oh no! Tremble, Ipkis, tremble! I can't! Well then hiccup at least! Ah, the sweet taste of blood fills my mouth. Cut! Orlock, blood is salty. Really? I, I'd forgotten. John, you'll be playing the victim now. Orlock, bite John in jest. There's a blood packet under his collar. <sighs> what are you doing? We're just acting, remember? Uh, somebody call an ambulance!